Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of August the 30th through to September 5th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for the Cappies. First up, we have the Knight of Wands in the upright, followed then by the Three of Wands upright. Next, we have the Six of Wands, Holy Wands. <laughs> Moving on to, oh, the Major Arcana, the Sun in the upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, High Priestess. All of your cards are in the upright, Capricorn. Looks like a fast and exciting, uh, adventurous week for you, Cappy. We've got the uh, Pajama Man starting things off for your overall energy. Call him Pajama Man because he totally looks like he's wearing pajamas. I'm saying, who wears that in real life, you know, as, a, as an outfit? I don't know. Maybe some people, but <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> The Knight of Wands, it is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. Now, this is Quicksilver. This person arrives on the scene very quickly. Can, and remember, the Knights do represent some kind of offer. So this could be an offer. Now, remember, we can, energy can go both ways. This could be you uh, quickly putting in an offer for something. Um, it could be, you know, uh, sometimes this is good news if you have your home or something or your vehicle or your business up for sale. This could indicate a quick sale. Boom. Somebody comes in, doesn't give you a lot of time to deliberate on it, so you better move quickly. <laughs> and um, so this could be someone coming in. If you're single and looking, maybe this is somebody new who arrives on the scene, who's very adventurous, you know, very impetuous, and, uh, you know, likes to do things. Could be wanting to, you know, take you on an adventurous trip. Wands do govern travel as well. So this could be something like that going on it could be an offer to travel or an offer to work somewhere else at a distance you know where you would have to travel to uh, this could be a, a friend of yours that, that this is everybody has that friend right who will call you up on a sunday night and said i'm breezing through town tomorrow uh, meet me for coffee in the morning doesn't give you a lot of time to prepare or anything like that that's definitely the knight of wands energy fast speed let's get this done let's get her done let's get her moving so this uh, this could be this is your overall energy. So again, like I said, it could be someone external to you, or this could be you, and it just could be the environment of you know fast moving offers. Right at the beginning of the week, we have the Three of Wands in the upright position. This is all about progression, moving forward, very progressive energy. I like the Three of Wands because this is when we've taken the initial wand, well, more so from the Ace of Wands, and took it to the next level, and now it's at the third level. So we're almost there. We're almost at the summit. We're moving quickly towards our goals and accomplishing something. For some of you, this is something you've been working at for a while. It could have been a project at work or even a personal thing that you were doing. It could even be a relationship. Maybe if some of you started dating someone, say, you know, six months ago or something like that. And it could be that the relationship is really picking up momentum. If that's the case, it would be like a really exciting relationship that sort of moves fast, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign. They like to move things along very quickly. But for others of you, this could just be something you've been plodding along, working towards, and, you know, you're finally seeing the progression. You're finally seeing, like, hey, I'm almost there, and you're starting to get excited. <laughs> and why wouldn't you? Because the next card up, it's like you skip the four and five, and you just move right to the six of wands. This is the victory card. Victory will be yours this week, Capricorn. In some aspect, sometimes the six of wands can represent, um, you know, the prodigal son return where we're, you know, thrust upon people who, you know, we haven't seen maybe in a while, who love and adore us, pass on the back, oh, just a lot of attention coming towards you. For others of you Capricorns, you have completed a project and this is like, yes, the victory time, the victory parade is now here. Everybody's going, yeah, who finished this? Who did this? Hey, it was Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, let's celebrate you. So it could be one of those situations or it could just be you yourself and anybody you're involved with is feeling really victorious about completion of something. It could be selling a house, buying a house, selling a business, buying a business, whatever it is or moving towards your ultimate goal. And look what follows the Leo energy. We do see Leo potentially here with all the wands and especially with this character. 
It is a fire sign, so some of you could be involved with a Leo. Maybe a Leo's helping to make things happen. Leo could be coming on the scene and, uh, you know, getting the ball rolling or getting things going. Whatever the situation is, maybe a Leo's not even involved. Maybe this is just all excitement due to Capricorn's own effort. And now look at this. So Capricorn, this is good. I love it when the sun comes up, not to mention the beautiful solar plexus energy, you know, activation. But I love this when it comes up because that can oftentimes indicate, and especially you will know, remember this is a general read, so it's different for all of you. But if any of you have been feeling under the weather or even bummed out, you know, depressed, what have you, it could be that your vitality comes back now, maybe because of all the fast moving action and everything moving in your direction. It's like your vitality comes out. This is where you feel the sun shining on your face. It could literally be that <laughs> as well as, you know, emotionally. Sometimes the, the sun isn't. It could be a rainy day, but sometimes we feel really good. Like when we feel that sun on our face, when we haven't had the sun on our face in a long time. It's that kind of thing. It's like, ooh, just bright, brightening up and having that solar plexus activation where we're just oozing confidence and feeling really, really good. This is also a card that represents what? Success attainment coming right after a major victory. Doesn't get much better than this, Cappy. I'm not sure what's going on. You'll have to leave me a comment in the comment section below. But this looks like a fantastic, exciting culmination of perhaps a lot of effort that's been put forward this year or in the last few months towards something. It's all coming together now. And the last card you have here is the High Priestess in the upright position. Not really sure. I don't really even think it fits in this reading, but it's here. It is your last card in the reading. The High Priestess represents hidden knowledge and something going on maybe behind the scenes that we haven't, that hasn't been revealed to us yet. So it could be for some of you, you know, maybe, I hate to leave you with a cliffhanger here, Capricorn, but I will be back next week to, um, to, to show the way forward. But this is about, you know, where there could be something going on behind the scenes, maybe that you don't see, you could be sensing it. This is a need to listen to the intuition, be our intuition, because our intuition can sometimes sort of let us know where mm, something strange is going on here. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's something bad. It's just we need to listen to our intuition for the way forward. Sometimes we can get so carried away with the, you know, the victory parade and all of that stuff and feeling so good. Maybe you need to pay attention to something at week's end. There's something there that you need to, maybe it's a clause in a contract or something that you need to take a closer look at. If you're in, only if your instincts tell you so. If it doesn't, then this could be about something completely different too. This could be, you know, some hidden knowledge that's going on behind the scenes about something completely different. Maybe it's not even about this particular, you know, situation. This could be that, you know, it wraps up with the sun and then this is something new going forward. This is where we can't really get our answers from anyone else. It's where we need to either go within, listen to what our instincts are telling us about something, our gut feeling about something, and go with that. So please do leave a comment in the comment section below if you have an inkling or have an idea of what that could be. Uh, so that is your reading, Capricorn. I really hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.